hey guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much for stopping by this is your first time here if you are a returnee welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be showing you how to make an ear to ear frontal wig cap okay so you'll be needing a wig cap any wig cap you have will be just fine okay i have this one so i'm going to use it you will also be needing a mannequin head you will need a needle and a thread for sewing and then you will be needing your lace all right so you can get this lace or net from any tailoring material shop so i'm just pinning down my wig cap on the mannequin head so that i can start my DIY just watch what I'm doing you will understand it a lot better that way now that I have my wig cap properly placed on the mannequin head I'm going to go ahead to place my net on top of the wig cap Ensure that your lace extends further than your wig cap in front so that when you finish sewing your cap, it is not too small for your head. So you want to pull your lace, pull it firmly so that there are no creases, especially in the front area. So pull it very firmly and then pin down. So you can see how I am prepping my net before I start sewing. Just watch what i'm doing watch this video to the very end and then you will understand what i am doing here okay once you have that um neatly laid in front you want to go behind the wig you want to go behind the mannequin head and then gather all the fabric together all the fabric all the leftover nets gather everything together tightly and then tie it off with the rope or thread or whatever just make sure that you tie it firmly at the back this is what you should have after tying it. the next thing you want to do is to mark where you want your your frontal to start or how deep you want your frontal to be it doesn't have to be a perfect marking you just um, use your initiative and determine where you want it to start from i wanted mine to still have the straps that usually come with that lace wig that is why i shifted my hand further down to do my marking otherwise i would have just marked it up there so once you're done marking the next thing is to sew down the net to the um to the wig cap <music>
Now I am done sewing. We are going to cut out the excess lace at the back because we don't need that anymore. So I'm going to use a scissors to trim off that excess lace at the back. <music> Be careful not to rip your wig cap and also not to cut too close to your sewing. Leave a bit of space while you cut so that the net will not pull out. If you are not yet a part of this family, please subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with somebody you never can tell who might need it, alright? we're going to do is to cut out the part of the wig cap that we no longer need. So you can use this wig cap to make uh, your DIY Ghana weaving wig. In my next tutorial I'm going to show you how I make use of this wig cap to create or some Ghana weaving wigs, alright? This is what your finished ear to ear frontal wig cap should look like when you are done sewing. Remember, it's a DIY, so it doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it sits properly on your head and it is firm, then you are good to go, alright? Thank you so much for watching this video. Until I see you next time, stay safe and stay blessed.